Well, hello everybody. Day six of the video journal. Um, I guess first of all, you'll notice that the old lighting setup is back. In fact, it's a little bit different than it was last time. I'm not entirely sure. I thought it was the same, but it's definitely not the same as I had in the very beginning. So regardless, it doesn't matter. I'm still working on trying to figure out the lights in here. One one thing I do want to do is I'm going to go look tomorrow and see if I can find some different light bulbs that are proper daylight bulbs, like 56K, um, just to have some consistency. Because what I have at the minute is I have a table lamp that's a very, even though it's a, a it's like a soft white bulb in it, but the shade that's on it is actually quite yellow. I don't know actually if I can, yeah. Oh yeah, you can kind of see on the edge there that it's kind of yellow. So that's giving a bit of a warm light. And then I have a ring light up here that's like 56K daylight proper white bulb. And the mix of the two, at least in the past, has been quite interesting. And I thought it was okay. The problem that I really have is like the videos you saw last night, I thought looked better they look a bit YouTubery, I have to admit, um, but that's how you do it, right? Like you have a bit of light on the person sitting here and you have a darker background with some interest or whatever. So um, yeah, all of that is off for the minute while I try and figure this out. So it's just going to be this over the next probably, I don't know, could take a couple of months for me to actually get something set up. I've even considered maybe going downstairs. I have a much larger room that's my son and my wife's sort of office and game room. And I've thought about maybe going down there and trying to take over some of that space because it's much bigger. So it give a lot more depth and might enable me to make the recordings look a little bit better for everybody out there and also for me to figure out how to do it. So anyway, that's kind of what's on my mind at the minute. Didn't do much today personally. Uh, woke up sort of relaxed around the house for a while, went into town, did some shopping, grocery shopping, all that sort of personal admin stuff that everybody has to do. And I mean, had a nice day. It was very relaxing, played some video games and, and just pretty much chilled. So needed to do that. One thing I did realize is that next week I'm going to Cambridge and there's a school up there who's asked me to come up and speak to the parents about um, careers in AI because I went up and spoke at the career day for the school and talked to the students. And it was one of the more well-attended sessions that there was. I think a lot of the kids were very interested in sort of how AI might impact where they go and what they do and how they study and those sorts of things. And it was really, really interesting. And some of those kids were really great and they were doing some amazing things with AI. A lot of them were using it to help them study to help them prepare for their GCSEs and their A-level exams and more as a coaching tool than a cheating tool, which is something that we've heard. Um, I've heard from, from Andrew Maynard, who's a professor at ASU. I've heard it from uh, Steve Wilson, who's a professor at Cambridge University. I mean, both of those guys have also mentioned that, you know, students actually aren't really using it to cheat that much. They're using it to help them be better themselves. And, that's a really interesting wrinkle. So I think that's really cool. And that's one thing I want to talk to with the parents. But one of the other things, I mean, I have a son, you know, who's close in age to to them and to their kids and what their kids are going through. So I'm actually going through the same thing that they're going through. And I can empathize with where they are in those decisions and the, the thoughts that they're trying to have around this and the advice that they're trying to give their kids. And so I want to be able to help them maybe figure out a different way to think about it. I don't know exactly what I'm going to say yet, but I'm actually quite excited. I'm, I'm maybe more excited to talk to the parents than I am, than I was to talk to the kids, although talking to the kids was fun. So that's on Wednesday at like 8.30 in the morning, which means I'm going to have to stay over in Cambridge on Tuesday night. So Tuesday's video will be from some random place, maybe a hotel room. It might be from... I don't know. There's a really cozy pub that I love um, in Cambridge, and it would look amazing on film. So I might go there and just take a little selfie stand and do it on my mobile. So that'll be different. 
Um, but that's going to be a good test of me using different types of tools and being in different places and figuring out different tech and, and really trying to work out how to, how to do all this stuff in a, in a good way. So look forward to that on Wednesday or Wednesday night, maybe, um, Tuesday night, Tuesday night. And I was supposed to go to London to meet up with some friends and some business contacts and stuff next week, but there's a tube strike on and the entire, basically the entire tube network is going to be shut down all week, which is going to be an absolute nightmare because it's going to impact all the trains going in and out of London. It's going to clog up the whole system, which is exactly what they intend. Um, so that's annoying because it means I can't go and, and have a couple of meetings that I wanted to have during the week. So that's a bit annoying, but we're just going to push those into, into next week, hopefully. And I have, I have a really interesting guy that I met last week. And I think I mentioned it in one of the earlier videos, but he's a, he's been a DJ started off on actually DJing with vinyl records and then moved into digital using CDs and that sort of thing. And then he's also got a radio show and everything else and super, super interesting guy. And I get to have a conversation with him on Monday, which will be the, the next creatives with AI podcast that's coming out. But I'm really, he's such a nice guy and he's got such a broad range of experience in the industry. It's going to be really interesting to get his thoughts on everything. So that's going to be cool too. Um, what else is coming up during the week? I think that's, that's pretty much, I have a couple of projects that I can't really, or don't really want to, to talk about on here. But hopefully if some of that stuff starts to come off, then I'll have some more stuff to talk about. But for the minute, it's Saturday night at 11 o'clock. So I'm about to go downstairs. I need to do these videos and everything and get them uploaded before the end of the day. And I'll be up and at it tomorrow. I'll probably do some work. I'll be at the gym. I'll Maybe I'll have some more stories to talk about tomorrow. But I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, take care, everybody out there. And um, have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.